Hi guys, this is Julie. I'm going to give you a walkthrough on Animaker. Animaker has five sections, Scenes, Timeline, Library, Workspace, and finally the Menu. Let's start with Scenes. On the left side, we have the Scenes lined up. A collection of scenes will make a video. You can add scenes like this. Click on this icon to duplicate scenes. And when you do not want a scene, just select it to delete. This sign here at the bottom allows you to increase or decrease the scene duration in seconds. The entire section is the library. At this top corner, you can see the themes. We have got 2D, handcraft, and more. Once you select your favorite theme, the library section loads with huge assets like characters, properties, background, text, numbers, screen effects, sound effects, music, and transitions. You can search for any specific object you want here. Type and find them easily, like this. This search option applies to all the categories in the library. Each character comes with multiple actions and expressions. When you click on the character, a property window appears. This window has lots of pre-animated actions and expressions. For instance, I'm going to make her say, Hi! Then eat. Hmm, yummy yum! Dance. There you go! Let's see some expressions. She looks happy now. A little confused. Shocked. Oh dear, something made her angry. Remember, while creating videos, the animations will appear only when we click on the characters. Now you see. Now you don't. Let's move to the properties. There are multiple views for a single property. For example, I choose this cup. Go to the property window, and I can change it to top view. Or the front view. Cool, isn't it? And hey, don't forget the upload option. With this, you can upload your own assets like pictures and logos. Now, I want to upload our mascot. I click on Upload, select Animaker, and yes, the robot is instantly added to my library. This area is the workspace to make it a little more lively. Let's choose... hmm this background. Click a character and a property. Drag and drop. Nice and easy. The workspace allows you to control the object like flip, rotate, resize, or swap with any other character or even a property. This will come in real handy. Next comes the controls. This section here holds the workspace controls. We have controls for camera, grid, workspace scale, play buttons, and enter and exit effects. The timeline here lets you control everything in the video for the perfect outcome. The timeline has three categories. The object timeline, camera timeline, and soundtrack used for sound mixing. Object Timeline is used to manage when an object enters the scene and when it exits. Now select the object. You can either select it from the workspace or from the object list which is just above the timeline. It may be a character or a property. Now I'm going to adjust when my character has to appear. Do you see a thumb here? I can just drag the thumb to 3 so that my character appears from the 3rd second. Now I want the property to appear on the scene from the 5th second. Adjust the thumb and there you go. I want my character and property to stay on the screen only till the 8th second and I set the thumb accordingly. Let us see what we've made. Hit Preview. Now, that's impressive! Let's not stop here. Let's add a few more effects. I want this object to slide from left. For this, I select the object, choose Enter Effect, and choose the desired exit effect. Let's preview what we've got.
Hmm. I want the effects to be a little more prominent. Let's slow it down. Select this thumb and drag it forward to extend the enter effect. The same way, drag the thumb to extend the exit effect. Preview again. This time, the object slowly enters and exits in style. Perfect! Let us now add a screen effect from the library. This effect looks interesting. Let me choose this. Now with the screen timeline, I can adjust the thumb here and here. Job well done! Even the screen effects can be seen only when it's selected from the object list. Hit Preview. The one you see here is the camera timeline. We will talk in detail about this later. There are some ultimately exciting effects which can make your video stand out. Heard about Multimove? Let me show you how to do it. Go to the library, choose an object. Suppose you want to move your object multiple times from here to there, from there to elsewhere. To do this, choose Multimove. Move it to a new position and add a pin from there, move it to a different position, and add another pin here. Hit play to see what you've made! Woohoo! You can always edit the pin by moving it to a different duration. I may even change the look and feel of the object. Another interesting feature is the record mode. This can be effectively used to change the character's expression multiple times. I choose this guy and make him work on his computer. He's smiling now. I choose the record mode and click Add. Now change his expression and add again. Like this, add a few more. Now let's see. He goes from happy to bored to irritated. Oh, the mood swings are just too fast. Adjust the pins in the timeline to slow him down a bit. Play again. I know you guys are bored of seeing characters move here and there. How about your camera move here and there? Introducing the multi-camera effect, a star feature of Animaker. Now you can focus different objects one after the other. Let's watch this. Awesome, isn't it? Just like we see in the movies. How to do it? Apply camera object, drag it towards your focus, and scale it. Increase or decrease scale. Add one more camera object and focus elsewhere. Now, back to frame. Simple. Now play and see. Cool. Add a number of camera objects to make a super cool video. There are a number of cool text effects. Drag and drop text in the workspace. I now choose this font family font style, font alignment, and font color. Type what I want. Introduce an effect. Now see what we have, a neat show of animated text. This is how you make a typography video. There is a huge collection of amazing callouts and text containers designed to perfection. And the speech bubbles are just too perfect. Use them at preferred spots on your video to make them presentable. Numbers are always boring in any presentation. What if the numbers could be animated? What if we can represent a percentage change through an animated property? Let me choose this. Now I'm going to enter the start value say 0, and the end value say 100. You can control the speed of the number animations with this thumb in the timeline, and look what happens. Smooth, entertaining display of numbers. Look at this bar chart. We can make them move up and down. Your number animations are ready. Like this, you can create various combinations and create amazing infographics with just a few clicks.
Now is the time to spice up your video with some audio effects. Go to the library and scroll to select the music which you think will fit well. You can listen to them before you apply. Drag and drop it here. With this thumb, you can either increase and decrease the duration of your music. Now let's add our pre-recorded voiceover to the new track. Some sound effects at the most appropriate places. You can also adjust the volume of any specific sound. Hit play. If you're planning to set up a new business or perhaps are looking to expand your startup, solid financial assistance is a must. You've got a perfect blend of all three tracks. Project complete! Now it's time to show the world what you've accomplished. You can either directly share it on YouTube or download an HD quality video. See you guys! Hope you had a great time! Thanks for listening!